Hey boys and girls, thank you for being such great workers. I'm glad you're back to do another read through with me. Um, today we are doing land habitats and it says look and wonder. All right, so what kinds of plants and animals live in the desert? We will find this out as we read further through this um, section in science. We're going to start with a poem and it's called To Be a Clover by Aileen Fisher. I wonder how it would feel to be a clover, with a bee buzzing over and landing in my hair, on three pair of tickly feet looking for something to eat. I don't imagine it would hurt me, it would be better than having a grasshopper squirt me. It would be better than being a leaf and coming to grief if a caterpillar found me and began nibbling, nibbling, nibbling around me. All right, talk about it. Pick a plant. What do you think it would be like if you were that plant? If I had to choose to be a plant, I'd probably choose to be a sunflower because they're big and beautiful and they get to look at the sun all day long. What kinds of plants and animals live together? All right, what to do? Draw an animal. Draw the plants that live with the animal. I left a page at the back of this so that you can do exactly that, okay? Um, Share a picture with someone at home. Uh, tell how the plants and animals get what they need to live. And number three, why do plants and animals live together? That's a really good question. Think about it. Why do plants and animals live together? All right. Within this land uh, habitat section, there are three vocabulary words we need to know. One of them is grassland. One of them is adaptation. The other is forest. I will highlight those probably a different color if I remember okay how do plants and animals live in a grassland many animals live in a gra in grasslands a grassland is a dry place with a lot of grass some of the animals that live in a grassland are small they can hide from animals that might eat them so one of our definitions was in there um, and that was for grassland so a grassland is a dry place with a lot of grass okay Prairie dogs hide in holes in the ground. Their color helps them blend in. Other animals are too big to hide. They have to stay safe in other ways. An adaptation is a special, special feature that helps an animal stay alive in its habitat. So adaptation, an adaptation is a special feature that helps an animal stay alive in its habitat. And remember, a habitat is a specific place where a certain type of animal lives. How is a giraffe's long neck an adaptation? Giraffes have long necks that help them spot animals that might eat them and to eat the leaves off tall trees. So their long necks help them see far in the distance and it helps them get the food they need off of the tall trees. How do plants and animals live in a forest? A tree can be a home for many animals and even for plants. A forest is a place where there are a lot of trees. Some trees grow tall in the forest. This helps them get the sunlight they need to make food. All right, so here's a picture of a moose in the forest. You can see there's lots of trees, some grasses for him. So everything this, this moose needs to survive in the forest is right there for him. Some animals use the trees for food. Other animals eat nuts and insects found on the trees. Why is a forest a good place for plants and animals to live? All right, so take a look at the photo here. It says, how is this plant helping the woodpecker meet its needs all right and so there's a couple of things that woodpeckers will get from uh, the plants uh, we can kind of skip the bottom here but please think about um, what type of animals live in a grassland and why and some words that would help you describe a forest that describe comes up a lot with us eh? communicate when you communicate you write draw and tell your ideas some boy named Roger looked at a picture of the desert. He wrote what he saw on a web. So his main idea was desert. And he said that they're dry. They're brown. They have cactus plants. There's lots of other things we could put. We could probably put lots of sunlight. We could put a little bit of rain. We could put snakes. Some deserts have 
tarantulas, so lots of things you can include in there. So plants that live in a desert, they're, they're very specific, all right? So take a look at this picture. You could see these plants. These are not plants that we see here growing in Manitoba, for sure, all right? So look at the shape of their leaves. Have you seen any plants with leaves like that? What does the ground look like? All right. Uh, communicate by filling in your own web about the picture. And then I put um, a web in the question sheet for you to fill in. Here we get to respond to the poem, to be a, cl a clover. All right. Response to literature. Would the poet like to be a clover or a leaf? Use the poem to tell how you know. A bee and a grasshopper are insects. Name two more insects that you know. Do you think to be a clover is a good title for the poem? Why or why not? All right, so you can look back into your poem to get the best possible answer um, and to help you with the spelling. Um, just do your best. Here you get to draw your own land animal um, in its habitat. So I'm not sure uh, what your animal is going to be or what it's going to look like um, or even what colors you're going to use. Um, I don't know, you're going to draw some kind of moose or, or, or what, a chicken or a rooster or a cat or a dog or a lion, anything you want. And, but be sure to include some of the other parts of nature that are found in that habitat as well. Here's the spots to fill in our definitions. So there was three of them. I did highlight them in different colors for you. I don't know if you highlighted them in your paper or not, but you can go back and look through it. Uh, you can rewind the video as well and look at it. So the first one is, what is a grassland? Second one is, what does adaptation mean? And number three was, what is a forest? Um, so land habitats. Again, use your book to help you fill in the blanks. How do plants and animals live in grasslands? Many animals live in blank. A grassland is a something place with a lot of grass. And something is a special feature that helps an animal stay alive in its habitat. Something have long necks that help them spot animals that might want to eat them and to eat the leaves off of tall trees. A tree can be a something for many animals and even for other plants. How do plants and animals live in a forest? A something is a place where there are a lot of trees. Some animals use the trees for something. All right, summarize the main idea. How do plants and animals live in land habitats? So you can look back through your book and try to find how plants and animals kind of rely on each other. All right. So here it says, circle the name of the habitat shown in each picture. Tell about ad an adaptation that helps the animal live in this habitat. So, where would this bird live? Would it live in a water habitat? Probably not. Would it live in a desert, a forest, or a grassland? What do you think? And then, what adaptation does it have, take a look right there, that helps it survive in its habitat? Here we have a big giraffe, all right? Does it live in a forest, a desert, or a grassland? And what adaptation does it have? And what, um, how does its adaptation help it? Okay? All right, fill in the blanks. We have four words, trees, adaptation, forest, grassland. So um, they will only go in one spot, so it has to make sense like all sentences, it needs to make sense. Different plants and animals live in different land habitats. A grassland and a something are two of these habitats. To live in a something, plants and animals must adapt to a grassy, dry place. A forest is a place with lots of something. Forest plants and animals have something that help them get what they need. All right, so which of those four words will fit in those spaces best? And remember, it has to make sense. So read through it again just to make sure it makes sense when you are done. All right, so this is the web I was talking about. 
Um, so it says land habitats, and we can name three different kinds of land habitats. I'll give you a hint because it's hard to write with my finger here. One is a forest, um, one is a desert, and you can think of what the other one is, and then come up with at least two ideas for each of those things, or two words for each of those things, okay? So I'll give you a hint on one of them, a forest habitat has lots of trees, right? Look back into your writing and you should be able to get um, quite a bit of information there. Okay, thanks again for working so hard. Continue to work hard. And when your work is all done, please ring it back on Wednesday and I will give you some more. Um, thank you very much. And once again, keep working hard. Bye-bye.